Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. In this metal location guide for the Lost Island, I'm going to show you all of the best places to get metal on the Lost Island map. I'll show you some of the easiest, safest metal locations where you can get lots of metal even if you're a brand new player, and I'll show you some of the best places to get the most metal on the Lost Island map where there's 30 to 50 metal nodes all concentrated in one spot. So no matter where you live on the Lost Island map, one of these metal locations should be perfect for you. Please like and share this video, comment and subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video. And let's get started! Now I'm going to start with the absolute easiest, safest metal location on the entire Lost Island map, and that's over here by Scudder's Inlet. Here's the map and GPS coordinates, and right here in between these two mountains is a ton of metal. I got about a thousand metal here on a 3x server, so there's like 300 on a 1x, but this place is so safe. I've only seen dilos around and uh, had no trouble at all getting thousands of metal from this location location and nothing ever bothered me. So I highly recommend checking this out if you're looking for metal and you're early on in your game. And uh, if you spawn at the Scudder's Inlet spawn zone, this is such a great place to get all the metal you need. Now this mountain right here, if you look on the map, it's just a huge island with a big mountain on it, and this is probably the most concentrated area to get tons of metal on the entire map. So I've got, I don't know, like 20 metal nodes over here, and then if we continue along this mountain range, there's some other ones scattered around, but over here we've got another ton of metal over at this spot right here. And then there's a bunch overall over this mountain and you just continue going down the mountain ranges and there's more metal. And I'd say probably at least 50 metal nodes on this mountain. And uh, it's just covered. So if you set up a forge over here, you have an RG to carry yourself around. It is gonna get you so much metal, you don't even know what to do with it. Probably 50 nodes at least, and a good half of it is rich metal nodes. So this is such an awesome place to get metal. Another super easy place to get metal, and it's really, really safe, is right here on this island. And there's a, just a couple of metal nodes, but if you start in this area, you want to start on the southeast side of the map, there's enough metal to tie you over until you spread out. Now if you're on the southeast side of the map, this mountain over here near the green obelisk is an amazing place to get metal. There are rexes and stuff like that, it's a little dangerous, but it's really easy to get them to chase you off cliffs if you have an RG and an Anki team. But check out all this metal. There's probably at least like 30 metal nodes and tons of crystal too, which is another thing that can be hard to find on this map. But you're definitely going to have more than enough metal on this mountain. And once again, super easy to get all the predators to just fall off the cliffs if you got an RG and Anki and that'll get you all the metal you need and it's right by the green ob so if you live in the southeast jungle this is a great place to get metal. Another really well hidden spot that has tons of metal is this little mountain right here. It is so well hidden, you can be right on top of it and you won't even spot the metal here. But there's a bit to the right next to this mountain and then underneath the mountain, there's a little tiny cave and this is all very rich metal. Like some of these metal nodes, you can hit them for a really long time and they won't disappear. But we can just keep going through this cave and all of these rocks are tons of rich rich metal. Now if you happen to live near the middle of this lake, you can spot the lake on the map, it's so big, but there's a huge lake with a castle in the middle of the redwood forest, and directly north of it is a waterfall running down into this big lake, and right under the waterfall is actually a great spot to get metal. So there's quite a bit of metal back here, and a decent amount of crystal too. So if you set up over here, you can easily get all the metal you need, transport it to a raft, and take it wherever you need to go. And this technically goes all the way out to the ocean, so that makes it easy to transport, but you do have to go through a swamp, and uh, we all know how that usually goes. Now a lot of people start in the northwest side of the map, and uh, probably a lot of people will be living in this cool snow castle. It's a pretty awesome place, there's a great cave under there, which is where I live on the Monarchy series. But there's a lot of pretty good metal spots around here too, so if we head up to this mountain, I believe it's this flat one right here, there we go. So this spot right here doesn't look like there's anything on it. 
But actually, all of these rocks are metal and rich metal. They're just covered in snow, so they're hidden. And there's actually a good bit of crystal right here on the edges that just looks like plants. And uh, there's a bunch of obsidian over here that you can't really see without uh, looking really closely too. So this is actually a great place to get metal, crystal, and obsidian if you know where to look. And there's also a much safer area over here. And uh, this is where Terrifier lives on the Monarchy series, but there's quite a few good metal nodes right up here on this ledge. And it's a great place to build because you can block off just a couple sides of this plateau and you're totally safe. Not a lot of dangerous stuff around. And there's actually quite a bit of obsidian too. Now, if you live in the desert, there's actually quite a bit of metal scattered on top of some of these plateaus, and uh, about every other plateau has some decent metal on it, just a little bit here and there. And I'll show you a couple of the locations where you can find some of that here. But uh, if you check out all the plateaus, you'll find a decent amount of metal that way. But the really amazing spot for metal is up on this mountain. It's actually right next to water, which is a great thing to have in the desert. But this mountain is totally covered in metal. There's just so many metal spawns scattered throughout the top. Lots of obsidian, plenty of crystal, all kinds of good resources up here. And here's the location of this mountain. You can actually see it on the map there. But absolutely every bit of this mountain has metal just scattered all the way around it. I won't even show you the whole mountain because you just fly around and there's probably 50 metal nodes all along the slopes all over the place. So this is a great place to come for metal and obsidian if you're into living in the desert. And it does have enough water nearby that uh, even this ridiculous colored Tapehara can be happy living here. So definitely a place to check out for metal. <laughs> So that's all my favorite metal locations on the Lost Island map, but there are so many other places to get metal. Here's the ARC wiki spawn map, and the locations aren't quite perfectly accurate yet, but this will give you a general idea of some places to look on the gray dots on the map. The entire volcanic island has tons of metal around it. I didn't show you that because it is absolutely crazy dangerous over there, but let me know in the comments if you have any other great metal spawn locations that you use on the Lost Island map, and I'd love to hear about you if you can give me the GPS coordinates. And make sure to like this video if it helped you and share it with your friends so it can help them too. And keep an eye out because we'll have tons more resource location guides to help you enjoy the Lost Island to its fullest and get all the resources you need. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss some of the resource locations that will make your life so much easier. Thank you so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. Please give it a thumbs up and share it around because that helps us so much. And drop a comment, we love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video, which will come out very soon. And while you wait, we have tons of other videos you can watch right now, so check these out. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video.